Yo, what up? It's Gashi. This is Trending Topics with Pitches and Planes. Growing up, growing up in another country makes you appreciate so much more. And that's so true, man. Uh, I was born in Africa. Uh, I'm Albanian, but I traveled the world with my parents as refugees. We were refugees um, most of my life. And uh, I, uh, I can't say too much of what I did to get into the countries. And you know what I'm saying? But luckily, I'm a citizen now. And uh, man, being a refugee, you know, I never had soda until I came to America. So I drank water and I wore the same clothes until I came to America. When I was in Germany, uh, we had to, we, me and my brother and sister had to steal jackets at stores, you know what I'm saying? Like had to find ways to, to look cool at school and um, nothing was given to me. Uh, it was, it was, uh, how do I say like, you know, I could walk to a store in Brooklyn. I could walk to a deli, get candy anytime as a kid. You go, in these countries uh, that I was raised up in, you go missing, you know, and certain things we take for granted, and, 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 and I'm blessed. The game doesn't look for artists anymore. Why would you sign to a label after building your own brand? Man, it's true. Who said that? Uh, some girl on Twitter. Okay, cool. <laughs> Shout out to her. I mean, it's easy to find an artist and then that's popping already and then just do what you do. Shout out to the people who find the artists who really ain't popping and then you grow with them and you get him popping. You know what I'm saying? We don't do artist development no more. All we do is even those kids that sign to a label and then they just shelve you and make you do your own shit and then you get fucked. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, it's you know, we don't look for artists no more to build anymore. We don't do artist development no more. We don't, it takes a real person to look at someone and say, that kid's next. I just had a meeting with a label. I jumped on the table and threw water in everybody's face. And uh, that's because I'm able to do that now. You know, I'm able to do whatever the fuck I want to do. No one could tell me anything. I worked so hard. It's been eight years uh, putting the groundwork. And uh, it feels good knowing the fact that I used to walk into a label. I used to call my mom and say, Ma, please pray for me because I'm about to walk into a label. Hopefully they sign me. And now I walk into a label and I pray hopefully I like them. So that's the difference. Everybody might hate Joe Budden, but that's my guy. And how he revived his career through media outlets is genius. Do you want to know something crazy? Joe Budden is probably one of my favorite rappers. Um, I don't know why people hate him so much. I think they spend too much time on the internet. Um, he's one of the greatest lyricists of all time. You know, um, uh, you know, I my first tour ever was with Joe Budden and I never really spoke to him. I would just see him go in and out the van and just go perform. And uh, the closest I've ever been with Joe Budden was this one time uh, we were in uh, the DMV and he took a shit next to me and I took a shit here and he took a shit there. He's on his phone screaming and I was just like sitting bumping to some music and that's the closest I've ever like really had the conversation with him. We just took shit together. Face tats. You really have to make it in life if you have face tats. What are your other options? Chipotle. Um, I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I wanted a face tat at one time, um, but my mom would kill me and that's my best friend. So I can't do that to her. Um, I, I, you know, face tats are cool. Uh, don't get face tats to be a rapper if you're trash um, because you're definitely not gonna fucking be successful then. Um, if I were to get one, I'd get a number four right here and a two-headed eagle right here. Yeah, for a long time. You never know, you know what I'm saying? But I just don't want to piss my mom off, man. She might whip my ass. Yeah. I'm, I, like, I come from, like, I'm Albanian, right? <clears throat> so I come from a background where, like, the parents really whip your ass. Like, it's not no motherfucking joke, you know what I mean? Anything they could grab on. I had my mom one time tell me, go outside and pick a motherfucking stick and bring it back. So I was looking for the smallest stick and I couldn't find it. So I came back and got my ass whipped. You know, I still respect my mom and, and she she runs my life still, so yeah. I, I'm still her baby no matter how big I get. Emo rappers be sounding like a smash mouth on a trap beat. What the fuck is a smash mouth? Smash mouth is an old 90s band. Okay, cool. Well, shout out to Smash Mouth. I don't know what the fuck that is, but that's a crazy pause on that. Uh, Smash Mouth. Uh, uh, emo rappers be sounding. First of all, uh, I'm emo as fuck. I'm an emotional guy. I make I'm, all artists are emotional. That's why we make good music because we put our emotions. We don't know how to. Who said it? Rick Rubin said it best. He said, uh, "Artists don't know what they're feeling." 
you know, some new artists don't know what they're feeling. It's called emotions. It's called having a heart, man. It's called being, being a good person, you know? Uh, let's make that cool again, you know? I'm an emo rapper. I don't know what the fuck Smash Mouth is, but I'm not Smash Mouth, and, but I'm an emo. I said, I'll make black music, I'll make white music, I'll make emotional music for high school kids. That's what I tweeted the other day. I didn't get that one, but <laughs> yes, I'm emo as fuck. I don't cut myself, but I'm emotional as fuck, and I'm gonna continue to be emotional until I'm out because I'm just an emotional guy. I might cry. Let's get next question. I might cry. That's it. I'm emotional. All right, shit. Pictures and planes. I'm out of here, man. That elevator sucks. I need to put AC in that bitch, man. <laughs>